And now Turkey's new parliament holds its first session following the elections that saw the ruling AK party lose its overall majority. The opening of the single chamber parliament is largely ceremonial, during which the newly elected members will take the oath. The marathon event is expected to drag into the early hours of Wednesday. The ceremony will be followed by a process to elect a new parliament speaker as well as bargaining over the formation of a coalition government. The results of the June 7th vote showed that the AK party could no longer rule the country alone. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has noted that he will give the AK party leader the mandate to form a government. The president can call early elections if the parties fail to form a coalition within 45 days of the mandate. Verenia Kedar, our correspondent, joins us now from Istanbul. Verenia, uh, what are the prospects uh, that uh, the uh, parliament will be able to form a coalition government? Well, the, um, it is expected that President Erdogan will be um, giving the prime minister or the acting prime minister as he has resigned after the loss of the AKP party on the, on the 7th of June elections. Um, he is going to be, Mr. Ahmed Avatoğlu will be, will be receiving the mandate from President Erdogan. Um, this week to form a coalition government. Failing that, we expect that Mr. Erdogan, the president, will call for snap elections after 45 days. So this is actually, after the parliament is sworn in today, um, there is the first process of um, electing a parliament speaker, as the parliament speaker today is an acting presiding speaker. And after that, um, we expect that the president Erdogan will be giving the mandate to Ahmed Avatoğlu, the prime minister, to form a coalition government within 45 days. Failing the formation of a coalition government, the president said that he would use um, the option to call early elections. And so that is another expectation. At this point in time in Turkey, it is expected, and there have been rumors, that the ruling or the former ruling Justice and Development Party has already had um, talks with the um, Nationalist Movement Party um, they share a common sort of um, um, conservative voter base and this, there seems to have been or there appears to have been according to local reports in the Turkish newspapers there appears to have been um, coalition talks between the MHP, the Nationalist Party and the Justice and Development Party already. On the other hand, the main opposition party which had won um, the second um, highest number of votes in the June the 7th elections, Kamal Kılıç Daroğlu of the um, Republican People's Party um, has urged in the last two weeks since the elections um, took place, has urged that the 60% of the voter bloc which had not voted for the AKP, that there must be, a, uh, there must be unity must be maintained among that 60% of voter base and their confidence um, should, 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 be looked at, should be looked after. And so um, there's the clear balance between the AKP having won 40% of the votes and the other three opposition parties having won 60% of the votes, and the main um, focus of the uh, main opposition party is to um, ensure the confidence of the 60% of the people who had not voted for the AKP in the June 7th elections. So we are waiting to see what will happen. Um, the coalition alliances appear to be um, rather um, tentative and also very sensitive because the, the main coalition partner here for either the main opposition party, the Republican People Party or the AKP would be the MHP, which is the Nationalist Movement Party. And the Nationalist Movement Party wants to completely sideline the newcomer, um, um, which is the HDP or the pro-Kurdish People's Democracy Party. It doesn't agree that the HDP is a legitimate party. It considers the HDP to be um, part of the PKK or the Kurdistan Workers Party which is um, considered to be, or, or it is branded as, a terrorist organization by Turkey, the U European Union, and the United States right. of America. In this case, um, the MHP um, linking with the AKP means that the AKP needs to concede or give some concessions on the fact that it has already started peace talks with the, with, with, with the um, PKK. Which the, HD, which the MHP... Okay, thank you, Verenia. We're going to have to leave it there. We're running short of time. Press TV's Verenia. Keep joining us from Istanbul.